Hello everybody, Brad Fiesta here. Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro the Dragon. In the last episode, we beat the game. Uh, got 100%, uh, got the 12,000 treasure and 80 dragons. And when we did that, uh, this dragon mouth opened up and uh, revealed Ganassi's loot. So let's, let's figure out what's in here, shall we? This is kind of like a bonus level. Um, so, I guess you could consider this a bonus episode. Uh, but the thing about, I guess, the gimmick of this world is that, as you can see from where we're standing, um, there's nowhere to go. You can see some stuff up here, but if we were to just, let's say I want to go over there. If we jump and glide, we actually fly around. That's right. <clears throat> oh, my voice is cracked there a little bit, but um, in this <laughs> in this level, we get to uh, fly around like we do in the uh, in you know the super secret bonus worlds. So this is in effect a super secret bonus. Um, you can only fly as high as you have currently like jumped. So the key to this level is to be you know to get as high as we possibly can that we can fly around everywhere. Um, in this level, we have 2,000 treasure to collect, which will round us off at the 14,000. So, mystery solved. We're going to see a lot of purples uh, here, which should not be all that surprising. But uh, another part of this level is that there are these keys. Um, we'll just basically have to find the keys in order to get us higher in the level. Here's a purple thief. He's pretty cool. I also like the music here. It's really upbeat. Uh, it's really like a nice prize for, you know, 100 percent the game, I think. This guy is ridiculously fast. I think we have to fly to catch him. I don't know if we're faster flying. Let's see if we can, like, trick him out, maybe. How are we supposed to get this guy? He's way too fast. Um, there is no supercharge in this level, as far as I remember. So... All right. There he is. Feels like we're catching up on it. I think the trick is to um, to not run into the wall when you're, you know, uh, like taking that sharp oh you have to take it sharp but not like so sharp that you're running into the wall and slowing yourself down oh he's we were just like right on his butt come here come here i want i want your butt i want your butt should i be screaming that in my apartment uh at however late it is. I can't see any clocks. So now we have a key. Um, and we're going to open the door. And inside the door, there is another door. But the point is, we get to go higher now. So there's a lot more places we can explore. Like over here, for example. There's another thief up there. We saw sit right up there. Let's explore in here. This is pretty cool. I wonder why there wasn't like a lava flight or something. I would have liked that. Okay, nothing in there. Um, 
What about up here? No, that's the door. Um... Where is the... Oh, we can just fly off the side. Okay. This thief is cool because he just, like, runs around randomly. Uh, but he's a lot slower and easier to catch than the last guy. Okay. This is... It's just, like, a, a nice upbeat level. Um... Let's let's talk about something then, since there's you know we've seen what kind of like the gimmick of the level is. Um, the uh, ah, really good words there. Let's open this door. Behind this door, behind door number two, we have uh, an airplane. That guy has our next key, by the way. BT Dubs. Now we can go up this high. Oh, it's a blue thief. The blue thieves are back. He is going to go... I think he's just going to cycle around this building. So we'll catch him. And you don't have to worry about catching the key. Uh, I don't know where the next door is, though. So let's get some treasure. How about... Uh, I'm planning to um, release all these videos, uh, the rest of Let's Play Spyro the Dragon, um, before I leave for SakuraCon. I'd like to get that done. So that will be, I leave on Thursday. Today is Sunday. Um, so it'll be, you'll be seeing like a couple videos uh, every day this week. Um, which I can totally do. I just, I'll devote a bit of my morning to uh, that task. Um, and then I'll take Sakura Khan to, you know, just collect my thoughts, reflect. Um, and then in that first week, I'll get started on Yiga Union. I'm planning on doing a lot of cool stuff with that uh, series. Um, you know, with Spyro, it's just been like, you know, you see the, uh, the video and then occasionally I'll put in like some, you know, clever quips or comments. Uh, but for the most part, it's been, you know, a little not uncreative, but not as creative as uh, I'd like. So for Yiga Reunion, I want to do, you know, I want to step it up a notch. But at the same time, I want to have uh, Sonic the Hedgehog going because I want that one to just be super simple. Like no extra comments or quits, like just video so that I could crush out, you know, episodes of that series in, like, a half an hour. Like, the editing process would be so easy for that. Um, it feels like we move faster in this part. Which is good, because this guy is very fast. Gotta take these turns pretty sharp. Oh my goodness. That pipe at the end there is frustrating. All right, take this sharp. It's not that I mind the editing process. It's just that I, um, come on. That ending bar is just always screwing me over. I just want, I want it to be a little easier on myself. Got it, nice. And if it's easier on me, you know, then I'm going to be able to produce more videos and uh, do different things to improve the commentary and just I make everything better. By making it simpler, I'm going to make it better. That's the uh, that's the goal. So that's those are my thoughts on what's playing. All right, so we are at a little under a thousand. Um, over here we have, I think this is the next door. 
door number four, I believe. Up here, there's just one yellow treasure. But the significant part about this is that this is the highest point in the level. So now uh, we are able to fly everywhere in the level. Everywhere that is reachable is now um, accessible. I forgot words for a second. So with that, let's go up to here. And let's see what's in here. A lot of purple gems. And then a lot of uh, fireworks, which if they all explode, they just scatter purple gems everywhere. This is the this is such a beautiful room. So let's collect all this. Collect all the treasure. Ba -ba. Ha! Set his poster portrait on fire. And let's see what the final total is. As it adds up, calculates. Two thousand. 2,000 of 2,000 treasure. And that does it. We are have, we have 120% completion. Um, with 14,000 treasure and 80 dragons, we have officially completed Spyro the Dragon. Spyro the Dragon. You've defeated Ganasty Ganork, collected the dragon eggs, saved all the dragons, and recovered every bit of treasure in the Dragon Kingdom. How do you feel? I feel fired up, Bob. And I'm happy for the dragon world, of course. I certainly wouldn't want to spend the rest of my dragon days butting heads with Nasty Nork and his weird minions. What's a minion? Uh, never mind. You know what they say. For every good battle, you need a good adversary. And I felt that Nasty, in spite of his misguided nature, was a worthy opponent. Uh-oh. Here we go again! And that's the end of Let's Play Spyro the Dragon. We found out uh, Bob was the name of the uh, interviewer. So, a thank you to Spyro, a thank you to Sparks, uh, thank you to all the players of this. Um, Thank you to the audience. Uh, thank you guys for watching my videos. I'm, uh, it's kind of embarrassing a little bit for me to actually have like people who are uh, interested in the crap that I'm doing. So um, it's uh, weird for me to talk about. But um, with that, we have reached the conclusion of Let's Play Spyro the Dragon. I have been Fred Fiesta, and I hope your day is going exactly the way that you want it to.